This is Rugby Sevens. Since 2016, 12 teams have competed in both the men's and women's sevens Olympic competition. Sevens is quick, supersonic quick, and it's played on the same 100 meter long, 70 meter wide pitch as 15. That means there's more space to rip it up. Teams have seven players per side, with each half lasting, you guessed it, just seven minutes. So, to be the goods, you need to be mentally tough and super fit. The attacking team moves towards their opponent's goal line to create scoring opportunities while evading the defensive efforts, which can cause some hard-hitting discomfort. The most valuable score is to cross the goal line and touch the ball down for a try. A bit like a touchdown in American football. Except in sevens, you have to touch the ball down to score. A try gives you five points and a chance for an extra two points, but there's a catch. You have to drop kick the ball through the post, in line where the try was scored. So get it close for your kicker. Now, while you're carrying the ball forward to score a try, you can only pass the ball sideways or backwards to teammates, but sevens can be creative. The defending team aims to regain possession through aggressive tackles and attempting to steal the ball at the rucks or on the ground. Teams are divided into three forwards who are normally massive and four backs who like running angles, inventive passing and definitely scoring tries. Making sense of all this is the referee, the person in the middle who officiates the match with the help of assistant referees on the two touch lines. And in most televised games, there is a TMO, Television Match Official, who makes sure nothing is missed. There are unique set pieces in rugby designed to resume play after stoppages. Scrubs, that sees three forwards from both sides binding together and pushing as hard as they can to win the ball. Lineouts, they occur when the ball leaves the field of play and goes into touch. One player throws the ball into the lineout where players lift teammates above their heads to win the ball for their team. If you want a deeper dive into the game, follow Rugby Sevens, it's time to be entertained.